What do you do when you've got a zero bank feed, you check your bank statement balance to your balance in zero and you find that there's a missing transaction? Zero bank feeds are great, but they don't always work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a transaction that's been missed from your bank feed. Let's head into Xero and I'll show you how. You've logged into your Xero account, you're on the dashboard, you're looking at your current account and everything looks great. It says that your statement balance is £9,886. Looks great, doesn't it? But when you check to your actual bank statement balance, you find that this is not correct. You've also done some investigating and you realise why it's not correct. There's one transaction that's missing. Now that's wishful thinking that there's only one, but in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So instead of your balance being £9,886, it's 9000 800 because there's a payment of £86 that's been missed from your bank statement. It's been missed from your bank feed. It did actually happen, it just hasn't pulled into zero for whatever reason. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the three dots and we're going to enter it manually. So we're going to say spend money and it's not a payment of a bill, it's just a bank payment. So we're going to say it was paid to Friendly Fuels we choose the date of it. We know the date. It was the last day of October and we're going to say fuel purchase. It's £86. We're going to code it to motor vehicle expenses. And if we had backup, we would attach it here. This says it's tax exclusive. So it's adding on VAT, but it's actually tax inclusive. So we'll change that. So the total of the payment that was missed is £86 and we save the transaction. So if we head back to the dashboard, let's see what happens now. We now have two figures appearing against our current account. We still have the statement balance as before, but the balance in zero is now different. Now the balance in zero is the correct balance and the reason the statement is still out is we've entered that transaction manually and we've not said that it came from the bank, from the bank feed. So we're going to go back to our current account just clicking on the name of it takes me to all the transactions. I'm going to select the transaction that I entered manually. You can see it's shown as unreconciled. I'm going to select it and I've got an option here. Click on options and I can say mark is reconciled. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to show you another way that I can do that. Because I have this more appear in here, if it didn't appear, I would have to go to my help and I will be selecting this enable mark as reconciled. So now we have this more on our screen and this works really well if we want to reconcile more than one transaction at a time because we can select them all down the side and then choose it here. But in this case, we only have one transaction. So we will select our friendly fuels transaction. We will go to the more drop down and here we have the mark as reconciled. You might get a warning sign if you've not done that before. And our transaction has now been reconciled. It's disappeared from the screen, but if we do a search, go to exact value, we know it's 86 pounds. And we now see that our transaction, the status is reconciled. So of course, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And this is exactly what we want to see. The statement balance and the zero balance are now both the same, the correct amount, 9,800. So that's how you would enter a missing transaction if there's only one transaction or only a few. If you had a considerable amount of missing transactions, you would look at importing a statement. But if there's only a few, one or a few, I would suggest that you add the transactions manually, then mark them as reconciled. I hope you find that useful. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, happy zeroing.